I was from Wisconsin. My hometown was Lily White and all the way through high school. I never had a classmate of color of any minority. I went to Nashville as a result of experiences in college with a black roommate and seeing the prejudice that he encountered uh, and wondered how I would react if I was the minority. And our college had this exchange program with Fisk, so I applied for it and was accepted. I was very naive as far as what life in the South was like. The stories of my classmates that they would tell, sitting at the dinner table and the Klan comes and Uncle Henry goes and you never see Uncle Henry alive again. In fact, they never find his body because he talked back to some white guy. I found it incomprehensible to, to imagine that, living in that kind of a community or an environment. It was very obvious to me that segregation was wrong. Um, I had been raised in the church. My parents had taught me right from wrong, and man, what I was seeing was wrong and I wanted to do something. Tuesday, May 16th, 1961. We held two meetings today. The first was at six this morning, the second from seven to one tonight. After much discussion, we decided to continue the Freedom Ride. So the 18th I didn't feel that a letter was enough. So I called my folks. I was kind of looking at it as not being any different from telling my parents I'm going off to war. You know, be proud of me. I'm, I'm trying to make a better country. And I was really hoping, you know, we love you, son. God go with you. And I didn't get that. I basically got, you're killing your dad. That was my mother's last comment to me. You killed your father and she hung up. And that was very hard to take. The first thing that the mob did was went after the white students that were with us. Kill the niggas and the nigger lovers. Jim Swerg really took a, an awful whipping. He took a beating. They were knocking him over the rail of one of the bus uh, stops there where they would come in. And they would pick him up, stand him up, and knock him over the rail again, pick him up, knock him down. And he was picking the loose teeth out of his mouth where they had uh, broken his teeth. We're dedicated to this. We'll take hitting, we'll take beating. We're willing to accept death. But we're going to keep coming until we can ride from anywhere in the South, to any place else in the South, without anybody making any comments, and just as American citizens. You cannot have people that use violence think that if they become violent enough, you're going to fold. Well, there are things worth dying for. We were going to continue the ride wherever it took us. Because I got beat up, that's a bump in the road. If I'd been physically fit, I would have gone with them. <laughs> 